It's certainly uh, my privilege and honor to be here today on behalf of the Johnson Controls Executive Leadership Team at this great event and, and very much anticipated opening. First, I'd like to welcome our customers, dignitaries, and guests, and, and extend a warm thank you to our host and our partner, SAP. In two years since we officially created our joint venture with SAFT, we've had a tremendous amount of growth and accomplishments. When we announced our partnership, we told the media, our customers, and our employees that this was a partnership that made lots of sense. It made sense for a variety of reasons. Our Johnson Controls engineers have been researching and developing hybrid applications for quite some time. But as we realized the future of hybrid was with lithium-ion, we needed a partner that had practical, hands-on, tested, true experience with commercial applications that could be applied in the automotive, automotive environment. SAP was an obvious choice. With the tremendous amount of lithium-ion experience and expertise and successful integration, into critical, large, and complex applications such as military, defense, commercial aviation, and space equipment. SAF brought knowledge, competency, and world-class experience to our partnership. While SAF knows cell chemistry and the technology behind lithium-ion, Johnson Controls knows the automotive industry. Our automotive experience Span all regions of the globe with operations and facilities adjacent to our customers. We are very proud of our long-standing relationships with our customers and we understand the market. And we know how to integrate battery systems into automated mode of applications. We are already the global leader in supplying automotive lead-acid batteries and micro-hybrid applications. And through our Johnson Controls SAFT joint venture, we are rapidly becoming the leading independent provider of hybrid systems. In the past year, Johnson Controls SAFT has continued to break new ground in the development of hybrid battery systems. Early last year, General Motors awarded us a development contract for use in their prototype Saturn View Greenline plug-in hybrid SUV. In August, we were awarded the contract to supply lithium-ion batteries, a pack for a test fleet of Dodge Sprinter plug-in hybrids delivery vans. And soon, we'll begin production for the lithium-ion batteries that will power the Mercedes-Benz S-Class hybrid sedan. The S-Class will be in production very soon with batteries produced right here in their set. And this is the first car available to consumers using lithium-ion technology. Just two weeks ago at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, we announced two new contracts for the China market. Johnson Control SAP has been selected by SEIC Motor Corporation, a leading China car maker, to supply lithium-ion batteries for its demonstration fleet for new energy vehicles. The lithium-ion battery systems integration into SAIC demonstration vehicles will happen in early 2008. Later this year, we'll begin production for the hybrid battery systems nickel metal hydride for Cherry Automobile and their new A5 mild hybrid, which will be available to Chinese consumers late this year. This new car will be low in emissions and fuel consumption and offers great performance. These contracts, along with our continued investment in research and development globally, demonstrate our commitment in the development, production, and manufacture of hydroelectric vehicles for today's environmentally conscious consumer. This is a great day for Johnson Controls, for SAP, and Johnson Controls SAP. 